Let's go now to Thomas Warwick. He's the former Deputy Assistant Secretary at the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Sir, so thank you for your time. Um, I'm curious to get your thoughts on this balloon, its path from Alaska uh, to the U.S. What do you think this balloon's really about? <laughs> well, unfortunately for the Chinese, it's going to serve as a five-day reminder of the threat that China poses to security, not just of the United States, but of key U.S. allies in the region, uh, like uh, uh, Taiwan, like Japan, like the Philippines, uh, countries that the America has close defense relationships with. Uh, the intelligence value of whatever this satellite might have collected is relatively minimal because, as you, you just said, the Chinese have spy satellites, the U.S. has satellites, Russia has satellites, other countries have satellites. So uh, it's not as though they learned that much uh, by being at a height of, let's say, 10 kilometers uh, uh, to collect what they can already collect with better cameras at a height of 100 kilometers. Um, and then, uh, furthermore, the United States now gets the chance to try to study Chinese uh, technology. They get to look over the cameras, the lenses, the sensors. Uh, uh, they've spent days, uh, the U.S. has, uh, studying how this balloon operated, how it transmitted signals back to Beijing. Uh, uh, and all of this information is now going to be a treasure trove for U.S. intelligence analysts to understand what the Chinese are up to. Uh, I would imagine the U.S. will be sharing some of what it's learned with its allies uh, in, in Europe and NATO and the Far East. Uh, so this is going to end up being a, a real negative for China. Uh, for five days, Americans have been talking about nothing else than this balloon. Uh, and so uh, uh, it really has sent the message of the threat that China poses to the world. Mr. Warwick, what do you make of the U.S. reaction, uh, Secretary Antony Blinken canceling his trip to Beijing? I mean, it could have been an excellent opportunity to clear the, the air on this, no? Well, I mean, there's no air that needs to be cleared. Uh, uh, the, the Chinese have uh, adopted a rather uh, aggressive form of surveillance for probable uh, minimal gains. Um, and I actually have to agree with Secretary Blinken's decision because he actually has a long list of issues that the United States want to, wants to raise with China. Uh, there are a few areas of cooperation, like climate change, but there are a lot of things that have to be discussed about the threat that China does pose uh, in terms of its stealing uh, U.S. Uh, economic secrets, in terms of its efforts uh, to uh, use advanced defense technology in the uh, uh, Western Pacific. So he had a full agenda, and he would have been obliged to do nothing but raise this at every meeting. Uh, and I have to tell you, uh, spending 20 minutes on this balloon would have detracted from other much more serious issues. And now that significant intelligence value, according to Andy's report earlier, was found on this balloon, how do you expect Washington to respond to China? Um, I would imagine that the United States is not going to do anything explicit uh, uh, as a result of this. It's the long-term damage to uh, uh, any perception that the Chinese have benign intentions uh, towards the United States and other countries. We're already talking uh, in the Congress about uh, taking the TikTok social media platform away from a Chinese company. Uh, and this balloon will probably actually be the death knell of TikTok being run by uh, ByteDance, the Chinese company that now owns it. All right, interesting developments there, Thomas. Warwick, appreciate your time, sir. Thank you. You're welcome.